Today, Cambodia is fastly growing into a developing country with Phnom Penh as its capital city. Travelling around busy Cambodia roads, tourists often use the Tuk Tuk. The Tuk Tuk, a small cart attached and pulled by a modified motorcycle. Cambodia is located in the southern portion of the Indochina Peninsula in the Southeast Asia. It is bordered by Thailand to the northwest, Laos to the northeast, and Vietnam to the east. Situated on the banks of the Mekong River, Phnom Penh is the wealthiest and most populous city in Cambodia, and it is the country's political hub. Cambodia has finally emerged from its dark past. The site is a former high school which was used as the notorious security prison S21 by the Khmer Rouge regime from its rise to power in 1975 to its fall in 1979. Tol slang in Khmer means hills of the poisonous trees was one of at least 150 execution centers in the country and as many as 20,000 prisoners there were killed. Many people accused of plotting against the Pol Pot regime were detained in Tol slang. Some were political opponents and their families. Others include women and even children. Upon arrival at the prison, prisoners were photographed and required to give detailed autobiographies beginning with their childhood and ending with their arrest. After that, they were forced to strip to their underwear and their possessions were confiscated. The prisoners were then taken to their cells. Some prisoners were kept in small brick wall prison with chains and iron shackles on their feet. The prisoners received four small spoonfuls of rice porridge and watery soup of at least twice a day. Drinking water without asking the guards for permission resulted in serious beatings. The small empty bullet container were used by the prisoner as toilet. Blood can still be seen on the prison floors. This area used to be classrooms, teaching French and Khmer language alike. Some of the writing are still on the blackboard. I wondered what was on the prisoner's mind and what had the prisoners had been accused to have done to be taken into such a place. Most prisoners at S21 were held for two to three months. All the prisoners were taken for interrogation. 
The torture system at Toslang was designed to make prisoners confess to whatever crimes they were charged with. Prisoners were routinely beaten and tortured with electric shocks, searing hot metal instruments and hanging, as well as through the use of various other devices. Some prisoners were cut with knives or suffocated with plastic bags. Other methods for generating confessions included pulling out fingernails while pouring alcohol on the wound, holding prisoners' head underwater, and the use of waterboarding technique. Females were sometimes raped by the interrogators. These skulls are skulls of unknown prisoners. They were battered with a blunt object and shot in the head. They were kept here as none of their family members had ever claimed their remains. Many prisoners died when they are tortured here at Tulsland. Out of an estimated 17,000 people in prison at Toslang, there were only 12 known survivors. I managed to meet up with one of the survivors, Chan Mei, and ask him about his experience during his capture. He had lost his wife and two daughters during the turmoil. Cham Mei was kept alive because of his skills in repairing machinery. This is the cell block which holds Cham Mei captive. Today, Chame can be seen here telling inhuman past experience of the Pol Pot regime and spreading the word of peace to the world. May the world never forget the atrocities of Cambodia's past and hope that a new Cambodia will emerge so that the spirit sail will finally find peace.